I'm gonna wait for your audio to kick in. There, there it is. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you. I just lost you for a second here. Hold on. We're back. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I appreciate you uh, following up and calling me. No problem. Sorry, we're running a little late only because we had a pretty bad storm here. So it was making our internet go in and out. So I apologize. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I said, well, hopefully we'll hold on. Yes, sir. So, do you have the gist of what uh, what my issue is that it basically I try to update the uh, the um, software or the firmware and I I downloaded got the wrong one down to companion so I loaded that on my uh, on my uh, small CF card and uh, then it went dead okay and then I realized I was screwed so here's what I need to know. Right now we're on the computer, right? That we can use to get into the radio? Uh, yes, we could. Perfect. Um, so here's what I need you to do. I need you to go ahead and activate your screen sharing so I can see your desktop. Yeah. And then I'm gonna request remote control and then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna try to help you fix this pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. So just wanna remember how to do that. So. Screen. You may have to tell me how to do that. I've forgotten how to do that. Sorry about uh, that. I think at the bottom, I think at the bottom, there's yeah. if you hover over there, you're gonna see some things come up. And one of them should be a green box that said that says shared screen. Shared screen. I can I, I'll tell you what I can do here. Shared screen. Shared shared screen. Sorry. It's okay. Are you on a Mac or a PC? A PC, yeah. Okay, so let me. Share screen, share screen on Zoom. How's that? Yep, that'd be good. Yeah. Then it's going to ask you which screen. Just make sure you pick your main screen. Yeah, which will be this one, I think. Uh, no, not that one. Don't believe that's the one. Sorry about that. It's okay. Main. It's done. It's fine. There's a lot of screens there. I'm sorry about that. Well, some of them are going to be programs, right? And then yeah. one of them is going to be the screen. The rest are going to be programs where it's yeah. like, you share that, that's all I can see. Or else I think you find your main screen. Let me see when I do, I'm on a Mac, but I think it's the first one on the left. Top left would be the one that is the actual screen. The rest of them may be pro, I think. That's how it is on mine. I don't know if that's how it is on yours. That's yours, yes. Share computer sound. Oh, geez. This is yours, right? Correct. Share screen. Oh, just give me a second here. Thank you. It's, it's, you're fine. We're not in a race. Not, I, not used to, I, I used to do this, and then when you're called to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how it usually works. Share I'm screen. Uh, share screen app HDMI. Oh, wait. Okay. So, no, you're not in the same thing. So, look at, we'll do this. Um, on the top of your. Uh, <clears throat> Make sure you're on your Zoom. You see our pictures, right? You see you and me talking? I will be in a moment. I just got to close these all these damn windows here, and okay. then I will be able to see you. Okay. Okay. Uh, my Zoom. Yes, here I am. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to take I want you to take the mouse and I want you to just hover over my picture. Yeah. Now do you see a menu come up when you do that? Yeah, uh, no, I, I don't see the menu coming up, no. Do you see any icons pop up at the bottom or anywhere? Uh, yeah, I have share screen. Yes, I got it right now. Good. Oh, then it's, the, the, this is the one I see your picture again. Okay. That's yeah. it though. If that's the screen that I'm on, then that's the screen you're going to want to share. Okay, I'll just say share. Because then I'll be looking at myself basically, which makes sense. Okay, perfect. So now yeah. I'm going to request remote control. So you're going to get a thing there to give me remote control, please. Yeah, approve. Okay, all right. Now that we're doing that, I'm going to take over the mouse. So yeah. let me do that. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to look for is your OpenTX program. Do you have OpenTX on the computer? 
Yes, I do. Okay, I'll find it here real quick. Give me one second. Uh, is it on the desktop? If not, I'll just go to the desktop. Uh, it might not be on the desktop. It was. You'll just no go problem. down. Here it is. Yeah. So yeah. right now, I'm going to try to pin it. No, I guess it won't pin. All right. Let yeah. Me Okay. I had it on another computer, but that's uh, I didn't have the camera on that one. No nope. problem. <clears throat> All right, so the radio's near you, and you have the cable, the USB cable? Yeah, the little USB cable is. And the radio is an X Lite S Pro? X Lite Pro. X Lite Pro. Okay, perfect. Okay, so go ahead. Here's what we want to do. First thing we want to do is I want to yeah. go into your profile and I want to understand what you loaded. So, Tyrannus X Lite Pro is here. Um, what Do you have any idea what firmware you loaded when you did this? Uh, well, the original was uh, 0 0.0 and I put 0.10 on, but it was uh, for the wrong, what the radio wrong one. Did, so, what radio did you try to load? Like, what wrong one? Was it an X9D plus? What was X, it? Yeah, uh, X9, yeah. Okay, okay. so what X9, we want to wrong. Okay, so here's what we want to do. First thing we want to do is I want you to, um, I want you to uh, leave the radio powered off, but I want you to plug the USB cable into the back. Yeah. And I want to make sure that we see it come up here. So give me a second. I'm going to look under your USB. Ooh, because yeah, what, what, I, what I got was a message, and I'll tell you what the message, you'll probably see the same message. When I did that, it was says your radio does not seem connected to USB or the driver is not initialized. Power surge on the hub port. Okay, so there is there. Can you are you using a hub or are you plugging directly into the computer? Plug it directly in, but it's a it's a Surface Six, so oh. that's one of the that might be a problem. I plugged it into my desktop and I don't get that problem, but I don't have a don't have a. I, I should be able to do this. I really okay. don't need, here's what I need. You can join me on the desktop with Zoom to the same meeting. And while I look at you with this one, I can still control that desktop. All right. So I'm going to end screen sharing here. And this yeah. way I'll just talk to you through here, but I'll look at your other. So go to the other one and get on Zoom and join the same meeting if you can. Okay. Go to this one on Zoom. Are you on the desktop? Just on my desktop, but just to no. I meant the other Zoom. computer. The other computer. Oh, the other computer. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can do that. I can do that. This that way, we'll use your camera from your Surface, so you and I can talk, and I can see your uh, controller. But I'll use the desktop yeah. from your other computer to see to run the OpenTX. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll open T. Open Zoom. Yeah, and go ahead and unplug the USB from your computer now, so it keeps. So it stops trying to read the radio. Yeah, yeah, got it. Because I keep hearing it being, what is it binging for? Is it still plugged in? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna unplug it now, and plug yeah. it in the other one. Perfect, okay, good. Yeah, all right. Join the meeting. So I said I should jo join it to the e to the email. I'll do it that way. Yeah, that'll make it easier. That's easier. Right? Not easier. We'll cancel that one. And all these other programs running. Yes. I don't know why that's doing that stuff. Oh, I have to reset it. That's what I have to do. Reset. And then stop. If you need to restart that one, that's fine. We can always kick this Zoom session back up with the camera if you need. Let's get into that one.
And when I get into that one and have yeah. control, you can reset the service and we can start this too. So we have camera again. All right, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Should be on here real quick. Okay, okay I'll be I'll reset one. Okay, I'll restart this one. Okay, if you can hear me, can you do the screen sharing again so I can take the Hey, I got the here? sound too. <clears throat> okay. I'm not sure if you're able to get the screen sharing yet, but I haven't seen it pop up here. Okay. okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, I can hear you. Okay, so now I need you yeah, do the screen sharing on the other one if you can. Yeah, I'll do the same thing, share screen. Yes, sir. Okay, and then I'll do a, a request control right here. So let me send that to you. Yeah. You should see that. All right, and then I see the OpenTX done here, so that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, is your controller plugged in here? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, and it powers off, so we're good to go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to your settings here, and I'm going to check and see. What are you flying with this controller? I'm flying a helicopter. Okay. At least I'm trying to fly a helicopter, <laughs> not that far yet. All right. So I've been using uh, Spectrum all along and I really want to change because I really like the features of what I, I see. So it's a steep learning curve for me. I understand, I understand. Um, so I'm going to set a few things up here for you. Um, and one of the things is there is no, let me show you here. There's no setting here for your SD structure. Um, so I assume you haven't done the SD structure yet. So I'm going to set that up for you. Is that okay? Yes, sir. go ahead. Okay. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, uh, where's your downloads? Downloads. I'm going to create a folder here and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm just going to call it uh, Cyclone FPV. For now, you can always change it. But it, this, this is basically where I'm going to put all the files that I get for your uh, uh, stuff here. So let me go... Uh, all right, so now I'll cancel that and I'm gonna do the downloads. I'm gonna make your backup folder and you don't have to remember any of this. Just remember to look in the Cyclone folder and yes. you'll find everything that I'm doing. We're gonna call yes. this one backup and we're gonna select that. Okay, and we're gonna click okay for now because I want to check 2.3.0, 2.3.0. 
check for updates. Okay, and then download. Yeah. When this that, downloads, I'm going to put it in that new folder. I already have that on my little uh, CF card. Yeah. The problem is, is the card needs to be, the card needs to be not updated to the card. It needs to be on the computer, and the computer writes to the card and and does this synchronization. If you go to the card first and you skip the computer, trying to recover is very difficult. So oh, we're going to try to do this this way. And then th by doing it, we can at least make it right on the computer, rewrite the card, and then you're, everything's in sync, okay? So I'm gonna okay. download that. Now, while I'm downloading that, I'm gonna try something here. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over to this here. Uh, and we are going to say, nope, sorry, the other one, this one. Yeah. There's going to be a point here where it's not going to let me move the mouse for uh, admin protection. So I'm going to need you to move the mouse when I ask you to, please. And it's going to start right now. So what I need you to do is I need you. Okay, there it is right there. STM32 bootloader. Right. Um, I need to. Okay, can you, clo uh, can you close that? Click the X for me. This one? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you downloaded the Zadig driver? No. Okay. No. I was looking for it, but I couldn't. <clears throat> <coughs> All right. No problem. I, I was looking there and it got to be so confusing. I said, I don't think I need to go any further before I, I talk to you. Understood. No problem at all. So I'm going to cut this one and I'm going to put it in my folder here. Yeah. Okay. Now this is also going to stop me from doing anything and you'll have to do it. So if you could please click okay or whatever it's prompting you to do. Yeah. Okay, and then I don't know if it's gonna let me make, okay. I need you to click the options. All right, options, yeah. And then click list all devices. Yeah. And then go to that square that says edit. Edit, edit, edit. Right at the end of that. Well, see that arrow, that drop down arrow, it says USB receiver. And then you can have an arrow at the end there to change the, to see how many, Different. drop that list down. Just drop that list down for me. Okay. Yeah. So here's what we've got. I need you to collect, select the STM32 bootloader. Yeah. Then I need you to click install driver. Yeah. Done. Okay. Now I don't get to see the progression on it. Well, actually, I do now. Now it's coming. Only up. as we speak. Yes. <clears throat> it's a very fast computer, so it wouldn't take long. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if it'll give us a successful option here. Mm -hmm. Installation is working. May take a few minutes. <clears throat> You've gone through this before. Yes, quite often. I'm happy to hear that because I was definitely okay. The driver is installed. Okay, go ahead and click close and then yeah. close the program for me. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go to your here, go here, go to device manager. And what we need to look for, perfect. You see how that STM bootloader is gone now? Yes. Okay. So now close, click that X for me to close that, please. All right. Now let's go back here and let's try this again. And there you go. It's writing to the radio. You won't see it. No. Because the screen should be off, but uh, okay. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is it's saying because you did that firmware, it's actually thinking this one isn't compatible. Uh, yeah. And this is the X Lite. This is the one I downloaded. Yeah, that's uh, correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, don't check compatibility right yeah. anyway. And now we're going to see it. In, there you go.
You know, I've I've got myself into trouble before and usually worked my way out of it, but this time I didn't have enough information. It's you know but, what I put a video together. Let me ask you something, and I will ask you this. I'll get your permission. Your ish, your situation here is unique um, because it's an X9, it's an X Lite uh, Pro. Not very many people have those. When we're done with this, would you mind if I use this video as a tutorial for others, or would I mean it, you don't I have, have to? But, I have no problem. I have okay. no problem uh, for that. I, I just appreciate everything you're doing. Anytime. I'm, I'm, if we can use this video, it'll help somebody else. Sometimes when I get a unique video that I haven't done, you know, like where it's recorded. It, it helps to save it and then let other people know. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do right now. One question, is my panicked face going to be in the video? <laughs> I'll try to take the pictures off. Okay, here's what's gonna help now. Um, here's what I'd like you to do first. I'm gonna yes. eject uh, the uh, radio. So if you'll please now just unplug the USB from the back of the radio or from the bottom of the radio. Yeah, right Can now. You try to power it on for me. Well. It, there's no nothing on the screen, so it, that's okay. It power can it you, off anyway, right? Can you, can you power it on? On. Nothing happening. Their batteries are in it to charge. So, okay. Do me a favor and take one of the batteries out to just reset it. Yeah. And let's go ahead and put the battery back in then. Put the batteries out. And also take out the SD card, please. The SD card's not in. Okay. Okay, put the battery back in. Let's put the battery back in. Yeah. Okay, battery's back in. Okay, now can we, can you hit the power and see if we see any action at all? None. Now the batteries, I mean, just to verify, you've got them in right, right? So this was normally yeah. would power on. Yeah, positive. Okay, in. go go ahead and um, plug the USB back in. Okay, it's out. Okay, okay. It looks like it's coming back on now. Yeah. Okay, it's on. Radio's on. So we got progress right now, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this set up properly. So what do you see on this? Can you show me on the camera what you see on your screen? What is the on, on the like, screen? Show, show me on the surface. Hold it up to the surface. Yeah, the camera. And let me see. Uh, go up so I can see the screen. OK, so it says, what does it say on there? It just says, uh, fail safe, not set, press any key. That's so, fine. Press exit. Do your exit stuff and press that. Yeah, there we go. It says the, it's back in the model that I started to set up. Excellent. Okay, here's what I want you to do now. I want you to go ahead and I want you to turn the, is the USB plugged in or no? It's no, not plugged in. Excellent. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go ahead and I want you to turn the radio off. Okay. So, so far we've got good success here. It's off. Okay. Now, do you know how to get it in that DFU mode? Yeah. I Press both buttons basically and then let go. Press, press the, 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 the star, the... Uh, yeah, that little plus, and then yeah. the power, and then let go. And then it'll be in there, yes. Let yes. me know when you do that and you get to the point where it's asking you where it shows it's come up. Yeah, there it says the right firmware, restore EEPROM, and exit. Perfect. Go now and plug your uh, cable in, please. Yeah, the cable's unplugged. Yeah, no, plug it back in. Plug it back in. All right, got it. Okay, USB connected. Excellent. Yeah, I see it here. Perfect. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So yeah. the first thing we've done is now we've restored the bootloader. That's why it's coming back up. Okay, the bootloader yeah. is what was damaged. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, let me do a uh, make a folder here. And we're going to call, well, wait, let me leave that there. Let me go to your other downloads, because I believe you should have this right here. Perfect. I'll take this one. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to go here. We're going to paste. 
And we're going to call this SD card. And we're going to extract it. You'll be uh, <coughs> publishing that video or you're just using it whenever the one you're going to make. It, well, uh, again, it's it, listen. It's <laughs> yeah, I don't have to use it, okay? So no, if it, 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 it would it would be on our YouTube channel as a tutorial to show yeah. how the, how it works. So you're going to be famous. That's all I can tell you. I appreciate that. But if you, if you're not comfortable, don't worry. I don't no, have. No, I, it's okay. I am, okay. I am comfortable. I appreciate that. It'll it'll be it'll be neat. Um, all right, so let's see what we're going to do here is we're going to rename this new folder SD card. Uh, and so let's do that. And this will be SD card. And then in OpenTX under your settings, we're going to tell it that that is the path for SD card, which is going to be right there. Okay. Okay. Let's go back there now. See how it's looking. Okay. Uh, is the WinZip done? It looks like it's done, I guess. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to the sounds now. So uh, do you want any other language other than English? No, just English is good. Okay, so we delete that. I noticed there was a backup to my SD card. So I think if I'd have done that, I might've been able to get myself out of trouble. Well, that's what we're gonna do now is, you're, I'm gonna create you a, basically a backup that you can fall back to if anything ever goes wrong. Yes. All right, so we've got the sound. Uh, so let's go back here. Now what we're gonna do, <coughs> okay, so under your firmware tab, we're gonna create a folder. And we're going to call it uh, open tx uh, fw. All the firmware that you download from now on should go into this folder, uh, yes. and, and including the one I just did here. So let me go ahead and I'm going to rename this so it's a smaller name because when you look at it from the radio, if it's this long, it's hard to tell all the words. So let me just do this. All right, so back in our folder here, uh, we're going to take all the contents now and put them in that SD card. So we're going to take this one, all of this, except for the SD card folder itself. Uh, hold on, let me, I'm on a Mac, so sometimes the keys I press don't correlate properly. Let me do this. There we go. Yeah. We'll drop Should those I in here. And then we're going to drop yeah. all these in there too. Excellent. So now we have the SD card content the way it's supposed to be. And this is the original that we downloaded that you can keep just in case you ever need it again, but most likely you won't use it. Now let me go back to TX. Okay, so now here's what we want to do. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to um, uh, write the firmware now back to the radio and we are going to check for compatibility and we're going to load it from the SD card file. So we're the one that we created and there's the firmware right there. And we, we're going to check, so we're going to click right to TX. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. Now what I need you to do is this. We're going to need to put the SD card in at some point. Not right now, but we're going to do that. So we're going to prepare for it. So I'm going to click here to eject the USB. And now you can unplug the cable. You need to unplug the cable from your radio. The cable from the radio unplugged right now. Yep. Yep. And then go on your radio screen, go to exit and hit enter so you can get out of that. Exit and enter. Okay. Now it should reboot and you should see your little uh, thing that says like fail safe's not set and all that, right? It's done. Yeah. Okay. When you get to that, I need you to power off the radio. Power off the radio. Done. Okay. Now put the memory card in. My fingers are clumsy. What's that? I just have big fingers and a small card. I wish I could say I had the same problem, sir. I don't feel sorry <laughs> for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. It's in. Okay. Now, we're going to do this a couple different ways. The first thing I want you to do so I can see what's on there is just... Um, do that. Well, let's do this. Do that same thing again where you go into where I can uh, get into the uh, bootloader mode. So can you go ahead and do that? those two buttons at the same time and get us back to that spot? Yeah. But once you get us there, go ahead and plug in the USB. Once I'm there. Yes, sir. I'm here. Yep. Plug in the okay, USB. Okay, yeah. Plug in the USB. Mm -hmm. uh, got it. Plugged in. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to start popping up on your screen here. It's gonna take just a minute. It just says USB connected. Perfect. Yeah, it's 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 now it's gonna read the internal memory plus it's gonna read the memory stick. And there you go, it starts popping up on the screen here uh, based on that. So let me go ahead and get this double arrow to show up. And there's the other one right there, okay. So I need to I don't know why I can't grab this. I mean come on. can you can you just grab those and stretch them a little bit so I can see it yeah. I can't get my mouse to line up on it. There you go. Thank you. Perfect. Is that better? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now do the other one though. The other one's the one I need more. Perfect. Okay, excellent. All right, so this looks pretty good. That's what I needed, but now I'm going to delete all this. Okay, so we're going to delete that. Yes. See the difference? When you leave that sound on there, it ends up with 2,088 files. Shouldn't really have that many um, because no. it's got 134 megs. Once you delete all those sounds that you don't need, like the different languages, yeah. you're going to end up with 16 megs and like, 300 files. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're going to wait for this to delete. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to synchronize them. And then at this point, this would be the good yeah. practice where you synchronize. And every time you need to do an update, you put it on the computer in the SD card folder. And then you synchronize with the radio and it'll yeah. copy it back and forth. Yeah. Right. It's going to take just a, it'll take just a few minutes. No big deal. So how long have you been flying helicopters? Yeah. Oh, a few years now, but uh, I'm still I'm still a better repairman than I'm in, I'm a pilot because I keep hitting stuff with it. But I've nope. I've pretty well built most of them. I I, I got a a TX clone 450, and then I have an old blade uh, 450 PD, and I just changed that to uh, high barless. So I'm, I'm I'm running that one with the uh, with the K bar, which is which I really really like to program it on the radio. Yeah, and uh, and so and then I got I got a um, a thirty S, which is another blade a blade one, which is a nice helicopter, but I kind of upgraded the motor in it, and of course, 
you know, they're now more powerful than I really know what to do with. But so I'm catching up to my helicopters. That's awesome. But I, I know that you do a lot of growing. So I got, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested in maybe one day playing around with one of them. What, the drones? The audio, yeah. cut, the audio yeah. cut out, so I didn't hear that part. Yeah. You, had, you had said drones, though? That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It, you know, it's, it's a hobby for me. And, and uh, I, my wife uh, basically tells me I like screwing things up so I can fix them. <laughs> but in this case, I'm glad you came to my rescue. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, there's no instructions or nothing that, you know, free sky gives you, you know, that's a problem, or at least nothing I could find except some, some videos that some of the really clever people have put together, but that's all I, I had. You know, um, the funny thing about all this, I'm learning more with you. The, the, the funny thing about all this is a lot of this is all open source, right? So when companies do open source, right? It's like, you know, it's everybody throws their hat in, you know, they, they do open source and there's no charge for it, right? Software's free. The downside to open source is nobody is really fully responsible because you've got one person who makes the hardware, one person, and everybody points at the other one and all that. So at the end of the day, you know, it's, uh, you're stuck relying on the public through the open source and through other people who have gone through it to give you instruction. Now, I mean, it, it, you know, you look at the largest company, some of the largest companies, Microsoft is not open source, therefore you have support. Apple's not open source, therefore you have support. But when you have open source, it can be pretty hectic sometimes to get support. The flip side is it's free. So you get free with no support. It's, I, I'd rather pay and get support, to be honest with you. Um, because yeah. I spent many nights yeah. learning how to program my controller. Uh, and uh, I think, I, as a matter of fact, this is no lie. When I first started doing this in 2017, I spent 50 hours. My wife wanted to kill me. I spent 50 hours trying to figure out how to program my transmitter so I could use it with the program to, to make my drone move. And I like, I'm not gonna watch a video. And I think I, I, I remember yesterday I was doing a build online. I was telling somebody in the first month I fried $10,000 worth of equipment. And I'm like, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep going. And uh, my wife, I think well, she was gonna kill me, but, but we finally figured it out. Oh man. So I think I'm heading office. in that same direction. <laughs> What's that? I'm heading in the same direction. Yeah, well, let me warn you now, it, it gets really expensive. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. It is. You know, what else are you going to do? Well, I tell you, you what, know? I can't fly a helicopter if my life depended on it. So props to you, because I can't figure that. I've tried it. It just naturally doesn't come to me like, a, a, you know, it's just very different. It's incredibly difficult. And that's probably one of the things that drew me to it, because I figured if it's easy, I didn't really want to do it. That's fair <laughs> enough. That's fair enough. I can appreciate that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, I didn't realize that, there was, that they're so complicated. Now, when I look up and watch a helicopter flying, I have a much better appreciation for it. I just feel um, like in person, they're easier than toys. I don't know why. I just feel like if I got a chance to move my feet and move my hands, it's a lot easier than figuring out what I'm doing only with my hands. But I could be wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> a buddy of mine told me helicopters aren't supposed to fly guy who was in the military who oh. was always doing helicopter jumps is like, they're not supposed to fly. It's the one vehicle that's not supposed to be in the air. Yeah, they're so, basically unstable. Yep. All right, so we got, we've deleted about, uh, we're almost there, about halfway, well, uh, yep. uh, more than halfway. So <laughs> while that's going on, uh, yeah. let, me, let me do a comparison here. I wanna see this folder, or not this folder, uh, my folder. Where's my folder? All right, uh, this one I don't care about. So that's not a big deal. This one I care about. I'm gonna to try to get my double arrows to show up so I can stretch this stupid thing, but it will not. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you do it. Can you please just stretch that screen down for me? Yes, I will. Okay. So one thing I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna show you is, uh, what happened here? Oh, well, let me go to full screen, there we go. One of the things that uh, was missing in yours, there's this, full, there's this file right here 
this um, version file. And on here, it yeah. wasn't, it didn't exist. And so if you don't have this file, the radio can't function properly anyway. Um, so what we're gonna do is these contents were right, but just to make sure that I get everything done right, we're gonna go ahead and redo it and put the proper stuff on there. Um, and then uh, what receiver are you using? Uh, the one I've got to uh, FreeSky S6R and I've got the software on, on my disk already. Uh, yeah, I my... see, I think it's under FreeSky Utilities. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that on your new card, okay? Just so that on the new files that we did uh, and you'll yeah. be good to go. Yeah, I mean, if I can always get it. Well, because I, I, I did that. have, I did, uh, did think bind it before, so it, that works. You did bind it? Before, yeah, before I got in trouble, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I may, I may grab this very quickly and just move it here and just tell it to uh, copy here before it deletes. There, we'll save that file then. There, if we can save those, it's in the middle of deleting, but if we can grab those before it deletes and that'll be good. Yep, looks good. Yeah. Come on, it's a race, it. it's a race between these two, perfect. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take this one and this one out. We don't need these because we already handled that. Okay. Okay, now this is empty. And this one I'm gonna go and put in your firmware here. Okay, so you're not functioning on LBT. So we're gonna take that off, we'll take this off. Take this off. We'll take this off. All right, so that's good. And that'll work. Excellent. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these. All right, so here's how this works. Um, in OpenTX, you have this icon right here, right? This yeah. icon tells it to synchronize the SD card folder on your computer with the SD card in your radio. So yeah. it's pointing to the SD card folder I created, and we're gonna drop this down and go to the SD card folder on your radio, the drive letter, which is drive E, I guess. Is that right? Nope, it's not drive E. Drive F, F. You see okay, there? drive F. And we're gonna click select folder. Yeah. Now, before we do it for real, we're gonna click this test and just see. So we're gonna click start and it should show about 300 and something files. There it goes, 300 and something files. And it looks good, there's no errors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it, take off test and let's go. And now it's, uh, what does it say? Too many errors. Let me see. It says giving up. F sound, F sound, SXR could not create. All right, hold on. Let me go to F and see what we've got here. Uh, sure, it's not. No, it's not F. It's D. It's D? Yeah, it's going to be D. I think we we're putting them on the wrong one there. So let me go back to F. Now, F is the actual internal one. We don't, want to, we don't want to mess with that. So yeah, that's fine. So we're going to go to D. D is going to be it. F is, yeah, yeah F is one you don't, you don't want to do what we just did. So let me go back, right. and, uh, let me go back there and do a synchronization again. And this time, uh, okay, yeah, not F. We're going to go to D, uh, which is below it here. Uh, no, where is it? How come I don't see it? Yeah. i tell you what. Uh, we'll do it this way. <clears throat> so I'm going to say D colon backslash. And let's see if I can get in there this way. Excellent. So it's going to go ahead and copy. Um, and there it is right there. Yeah. 
You did finish erasing all the extra files, I take it. And yes. It looks like, yeah. And I think this is going to be interesting because I think that I think it might read the 32 gig. I'm not sure. This is going to be interesting to see if it does. I think it does. Though. I don't think it's a problem. I got 16 and 16 in there. Wait, you have a 16 in where? Oh, in the, in the radio. Well, um, it says that the USB D is yeah. there. Is yeah, a 32. The one I got. Yeah. Must be 32. Yeah, it is 32. God, I hope so. I'm right to the wrong device, sir. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to find out pretty quickly. Yeah. You won't see anything on the radio yet. Just said. No. So there we go. So we had no errors. It created all 319 files. So now we're going to click close. And what you yeah. have now is you have an identical, whoops. Uh, let me go back here and make sure everything looks right. So we have, I just wonder why we have Tyrannus F there, right? Because it reads an internal. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. So there's okay. two, there's the, the disk and then there's the internal. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these. These shouldn't be on here. And this is because I was synchronizing the wrong spot. So I'm just taking this off. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is go to your SD card here because that means they're going to appear here as well. So we're going to delete these. Okay. So um, that should take care of that. All right. So the cards are identical now, right? And so if I was to go back now to the OpenTX and I was to tell it to uh, synchronize again, let me get my mouse to move here. It's going to automatically know to look in D. And if I click start, it's going to go very quickly. And it's done because everything's already there. It compares both. So it says 632 because there's three, it reads the 316 files on each side and it doesn't find any differences. So it's checked all of them, okay? So you're good with yeah. that. And what that means now is we're gonna eject both. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna eject the USB drive. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wait for that one. Hold on a second. Let me go to the other one then. Eject the Tyrannus F drive. And then I'm going to eject the, uh, let me see where the other icon is here. Uh, USB D uh, is in use. Okay, let me click cancel. Let me close open TX. Let me make sure I don't have anything running between the two. So give me a second here. So yeah, let me close all this. Okay, close. Uh, Let's minimize that. I think it's the properties. I have the properties window open here. So I need to close this properties window. And there you go. And then I think now I should be able to eject that disk. Let's see. There you go. So can you unplug the USB now, please? Yeah. Okay, now before you go to exit, what we're hoping is that you're gonna hear some audio now. So go ahead and scroll to exit and hit enter. Hit enter, exit, hit enter. Welcome to OpenTX. There you go. So now your SD card is perfect. It's got everything you need on it. Your model is on there. Yeah. Your SD card firmware is perfect. Your bootloader firmware is perfect. And you're ready to go and program your stuff now. It's all done and super set for you. Fantastic. You're my hero. <laughs> I appreciate your time, my friend. And if you need oh, anything I mean, else, you know how to find me. Oh, I do indeed. I do indeed. And uh, I... I thought that uh, just to comment on the my first contact with the company and the, Samantha, she was very very helpful and immediately uh, got things going for us. So uh, please tell her that I'm very much appreciated. I will. I'll let her know. And your help. Thank you very much, sir. You have listen. Have a great New Year. Have some fun flying. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. Thank you. And she'll contact me to for payment, right? No payment this time. I'm going to use the video as a tutorial. So let's just call it even. Okay.
Thank you, sir. My pleasure. And have a beautiful evening and, uh, and take care of yourself. All right, you too, sir. Take care. Bye-bye.